So there was once once a rabbi came to town, and um, Baruch Hashem, happy for Shabbos, he comes to shul, and he prepares a drosha. Oh, it was it was a terrific sermon. He thought it was a terrific sermon. He had him all hooked in. He was talking about the importance of keeping Shabbos, the beauty of Shabbos. And after Shabbos, the president, <coughs> the president of the community comes over to Rabbi. I'd like to talk to you a little. So, people really liked your sermon today. It was nice, not to say, but there's a couple of people that park three blocks away from the shul. It's quite insulting to them. Uh, do me a favor. In the future, if you just stay away from this, it's a very sensitive topic. Okay. So next Shabbos, the rabbi figured he'll talk about a different, uh, a different mitzvah. He picked film. He's talking about all the beauty of film. <clears throat> Terrific drosha, he thought. After Shabbos, the president of the shul calls him and said, listen, not everyone here comes to the shul. There's Shabbos people, and then there's the weekday crowd, as you know, is in the small base medrash. The other guys, don't they don't daven during the week. It's very insulting. Mm-hmm. We don't want to alienate anyone from the shul. Do me a favor. Don't talk about anything. Don't talk about two. And that's the way it went for a few Shabbosim. Every Shabbos he picks a mitzvah, and every time after Shabbos the president says, Rabbi, you know, uh, yeah, please. So he says, he, the Rabbi says, what can I do? What should I talk about? I don't know, Rabbi. Talk in general about Judaism. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, what Judaism? So, a big thing in, in about, the this is about Misa coming down to Maisa Bapoyal, even though Kavona is so important. And the, the, and the in Svarim it said that Tvila uh, below Kavona, Kegubalana Shoma, and the mitzvah Shunit Kavona, if you're doing without the Kavona, it's like a body without a soul. But nevertheless, the Alter Rebbe says, you see, the halacha, the fact is, that a person has no Kavona, but he says all the words of davening. Well, minus the first word, the first... Uh, yes. A person has all the kavanas in the world, um, but didn't say the words. Not yours, because the whole purpose of is the ma'aseh b'poil, the ma'aseh, the mitzvah, because that impacts this world. And we see this an in interesting in, a, in this week's uh, in the mitzvah of uh, the beginning of this week's parsha. This week's parsha, the Shabbos, the Shabbos special Shabbos. We take our three sifrei Torah, and uh, the first is the parsha of the week, which starts with. And then that which is the mitzvah of Brismila. And then we read about uh, the story of and how to set up for the Korban Pesach, Pesach. And then we read about Ishkhoidish. So uh, there was a story about that Samach Tzedek, one of the grandchildren, <coughs> they had a bris. And there were two Moyalim. One moyel was a young, a young fellow, and he was an unbelievable woman. Done. And the other was an elderly person. He was also, he'd done many, many brisen, and he was a good moyel, but not to that, not to that extent. The other one was like, unbelievable, a mumche, shebe mumche. The older one was a big tamad chochem, and he was a chosid, and he was a very special person. And he was also known to know all the kavonas apisoid for the bris. And uh, so the question was asked by the Tzemach Tzedek, by the son, which moil should I take? Tzemach Tzedek said, the bottom line is the mice asiyah la'ela. The mice of a poil. Take the expert. Take the expert. He said, because the thing of the of the mice and the bris mila is so la'ela la'ela, you know, so when you send a letter, you need the address. Kavonis is like an address. You know the address. You know the, this, this. You know the address. You write the ad, the letter, and you you send it up, heavenly mail. But he said the bris. It's so leila leila. Never mind the address. The main thing is the mice of a poil. The mice of a poil should be done right. But many mitzvahs you have l'shem yir kutcho in the mulchan. So you're saying those are not necessary in a lot of mitzvahs. Mm-hmm. It's said by mila, by brisas mila. The main thing is the ma'isa b'poil, and the kavona compared to the ma'isa is like minute. The ma'isa is so the ma'isa b'poil of the bris mila 
is so big, is huge, that uh, the Kavanas is nothing compared to it. And therefore, take the one that's better in the mice of a poil. So they said, said one of the, the free the Kedeva, that um, the Pshat is not that he was that he was saying that, you know, sometimes one person can have Kavana and have the Kavana is for the others also. He's saying, no, it's not Negea the Kavana. The Maisa Bapoil and the Mitzvah Smila is the main thing. So first, I, I was just looking at, the, there's a lot of uh, Svarim on Mila, and uh, it was one safe has a nice collection of... Um, of the reasons that the Shoinim bring from the Rambam, the Rabbeinu Bechai, the Mani Chagiz, um, the Abar Banel. So, uh, just a nice collection of reasons. Um, the uh, the first reason that's brought, you know when you were a little kid and you wanted to like, you know, with the best friend, you took a little blood, you know, a little blood. So, uh, so this is like the Eivish that makes best friend with the Yid. And therefore, it's it's a bris in the bosa. Furthermore, says the Kada Kemach in Rabbeinu Bechai, he says the Goyim used to, when they would serving of Zoro, they used to have a Ksoyvis Kaka. They used to have a tattoo with the image of that, uh, of that Avodah to say that they are, that's it, they are servants of that Avodah Zora. You know, we'll have the the, the, the we should go him today. who we'll do uh, tattoos. Wow. Right. So the, that that was it. That's it. They're a servant. They're a servant. So the yid, it's in the flesh of the yid that he's a servant to the abishte. The kedus yitzchik says a very nice thing. He says that the truth is that uh, a person, a per, it, it's it uh, a person has long nails. It's disgusting. It's a, a yid, a yid that goof has to be pure. The neshama can't uh, function properly. The goof is not. And therefore, the Ebishtim wanted the yidin to, to be clean. The Rambam has an interesting thing about in the book. The Rambam is actually the wild, the very wild. The Rambam says that uh, for the Goyim, Taivas of Olam Hazar is their whole life. Everything in this world is suck out a little bit of pleasure by Lamaza. The Ebishtim wanted the Yidin to know that in this chalik of the goof that has to do with pleasure, Kilu ah, right, the machlish lemaet ulahachlish zeho ever kefia yecholus ad sheyimat b'maisa hazeh. Obviously, the Ramam says that this is something that's health, very healthy and a person that does it in a healthy way faket, and, and uh, a person does it L'shem Shemaim to have children and these children of Mitz Hashem will, uh, will, will go B'dak Hashem and learn Torah and be Lohim De Torah and, and big in Torah but the bottom line in the Bris is L'hachlish Zareva another, another thing that's brought from the Rishonim is that the king always has a guard at the door. Uh, here is where the Zera goes out from the father to the mother. So the Mela, there's a guard at the door, a choysim of a oisbris koidish. This is the chasimah to say that whatever comes out of here goes to a holy place. And the Mela, these children that are born, and these will be oiv de Hashem. That's why Yitzchok uh, was necessary for Avram Avinu to have a bris before he could have Yitzchok. The uh, the, one of the other Rishayim says that uh, the Jewish child has to be taught Mesiris Nefesh from a young age. Because uh, you can't start telling a person that's already an adult to 50 years old should have a little bit of Mesiris Nefesh. So we, we teach them when they're very young, it's a little painful. This is brought from the Oilul of Um I, I, the truth is, I have to find out who the Elias Ephraim is. Everyone else, I, and the other reason that I said before was the Barbanel. And the one before that was the Moed and the Vuchim. And the Ephraim, next... Or the Ephraim is Ephraim something. Probably, yeah. The last one is again from the Rebbeinu Chbechai in the Kadach Hemach. He says, Azoi, it says, there's a lot of of HaMesapechas. It says that uh, they shouldn't want... Uh, 
had hem gegeven te krijgen bij in de Ganeden, bij een iets van de van de eets achaim. So they wish to made that they can't get into the Ganeden. He put the guards. He put lot cheder v'misapeches. Lot, it says in the Medr Zegi Hinoim. Shema lahetes as adam meroshe v'adragla. Hacheder zo hamila. Amar Hakadosh Baruch Hu mi matzal b'ane mi eish lahetes havoim zo hamila. That the Chazal read it. That there's two things in the pasuk. There is Lahat, which is the fire of Gehenim, and then there is the Cherev, which turns things around. When a Yid takes a Cherev and does a bris milah for the child, a Mela is zoicha that this child doesn't end up in Gehenna. I, uh, some Yid have been there. Okay. It means probably that uh, to, to a certain level of Gehenna, or this is special schools. Maybe First, noise has bechira chofshes. You can't uh, can't can't say that you're gonna give a bris to your son and that's it. You inoculate your son or daughter. They have no nesioinus. There's a vaccine. You give them. Never gonna be any nesioinus. You can't yeah. do that. That would be chas v'shalom. I mean, they take away bechira. Maybe the cherev wasn't sure. Yeah, that's hopefully. Problem too. <laughs> hopefully the cherev is good. What another word. <coughs> That uh, before we get to another voice, just a, uh, a nice thing that the Rebbe once said by a Sudas Bris. So, like this the Gemara says in the beginning of Christus that there's a, an anomaly. Usually, when is there a Chiyuv of Kodis for Chiyuv Lavim? There are mitzvahs that say there's no, chiv, there's no punishment of Kodis. There's two exceptions. And these are the two parashas we're reading this Shabbos. A person that breaks Milo, and a person that breaks the mitzvah of Korban Pesach. He's around, he's not uh, Tomei, he's not Baderech Rechoyka, and he doesn't, and he doesn't bring the Korban Pesach. These are exceptions, anomaly, that for Milo or Pesach, there is Kodes. Usually, Kodes is only for mitzvah Loita, say. What's the Pshat? Why? Why is it that way? So, the Rebbe explains like this according to Chassidus. Chassidus says like this, that there is, all the mitzvahs have connection with Hashem's name. There's Yudke and Vavke. Yudke is mitzvah sloita say. Vavke is mitzvah say. So you say, what do you mean, Loita says higher? Loita says higher? The answer is yes. That's why this code is for a person that doesn't do the Loita say. Loita says higher. Why? Loita says something that a person can't, can't draw into this world. He can't draw it. It has to happen in Mela. The Abisha tells you what you can't do. If a person, if a person is going to Rahman al Engage in one of these uh, chayove la, uh, lavim, then, th- then he's going to be a broken vessel. The, the godly light cannot come in there. But he, there's nothing he could do to bring down the godly light. It's yutke. Yutke. Shmiim yutke is shasaloi tase. That's it. There, there is, there's nothing you could do to bring the yud and the hay from Shem Hashem. There's nothing a person could do to bring it down. He could, he could ruin it. He could ruin it. When he gets involved in Aroyos, if he gets around the Chil Shabbos, he could ruin the revelation of Yud K, but he can't bring it down. There's nothing a Yid could do to bring down the revelation that comes through the Meshasal say That's why it, it, it's Begimate Yud K. But Vav K is a lower part of, of Hashem's name that a person could do. It's Shaykh for Yid to do the mitzvahs, and through doing the Ramach mitzvah, say he brings down a godly light. On the flip side, the Chazal say that mitzvah say doicha mitzvah loita say. Why? Even though mitzvah say is lower than mitzvah loita say, when you have a conflict, for example, and again in, in this parsha, you have a tzaras, a shomer lachamenegat tzaras, which is this week's parsha. It's a love to if a person has a tzaras on their body, it's a love to go cut it off. Not allowed to cut it off. Now, if what happens if the baby? And the foreskin 
there is a tzeras. So now you have a conflict between a mitzvah say and a mitzvah say. The mitzvah say is b'yem ashmini yimu. And uh, mitzvah loy to say is a shomer l'chob and neget tzeras. So we say the mitzvah say is doich loy to say. And therefore you cut off the foreskin. And the mitzvah say cuts off the, the pushes away the loy to say. So over there the pshat is like this. Because the the whole purpose is the Ebesh that wants that this, the Iker is to, to affect this world. The Iker is to bring Elokus into this world. Emes, that it's lower, it's a lower level, but that's the Tachlis. That's the Tachlis. If you have, you can influence someone, I don't know, just like as an example, you can influence someone, someone at work, someone in your block, a friend, one positive thing. So you should try to get them not to do a, a, a lav or to do a mitzvah say. Mitzvah say. Mitzvah say is, the, that's the ikir. A yid is alive to do a mitzvah say. To do a mitzvah say. So, the, the, but, the, uh, again, on the other hand, even though mitzvah say pushes away loita say, a pip nimi zatoira, mitzvah, loita say is yutke, is higher, and also a nigla. You see from the punishment the severity of the crime, because for uh, for dafka for over on loita say a person gets caught as there is an exception. What's the exception? These two mitzvahs are pesach milah. These two mitzvahs, even though they're mitzvahs, I say the punishment is caught as what happened with these two mitzvahs, because must say that this mitzvah has both milas in it, that a person. Is bringing down that light of Yutke. It's awesome. These two mitzvahs, that's why if he doesn't do it, these two, if Mavatl, these two mitzvahs is a chorus. On the other hand, he could do it. It's Shayach. This is the pedal of these two mitzvahs that it's Shayach to do and at the same time bring down a godly light which usually a person can't, can't touch, can't do. There's nothing a person could do to bring it down. There's a lot, a lot. But there's a Yoytzimer Klal, these two mitzvahs, the Kedusha of Mila and the Kedusha of Pesach, is so gewaldic that you have both Milas together. You could do, and you could bring down a godly light, which usually comes from not doing, but nothing that you could do. So that's the Pshat that the Medrash says. The Medrash says that the Shabbos is cool, can I get called a mitzvah? It's funny, it's interesting Medrash, similar to the Medrash you're speaking about this Shabbos, but the different. Medr says, how do I know who's bigger, Shabbos or Midla? Mitzvahs, two mitzvahs. How do I know who's bigger? A marshal of two queens, two fancy ladies. And you see both fancy ladies walking. How much like the Medr about the uh, Shabbos we spoke about? And uh, you don't know who's the fancy lady and who's the not-so-fancy lady. They're both dressed up fancy. So you say the person, the, the woman that accompanies her friend home, goodbye and then she goes home herself so the first lady is the more harsh of a lady because the second one walked her home and then she walked home alone and said I the first one is more harsh <clears throat> same thing he says here who gets pushed for, uh, away in, in favor of who Shabbos and Mila Mila pushes away Shabbos if, uh, if the baby is born a Shabbos one is the bris Mila Shabbos it's like the Medrash is Araya is a raya that Mila is greater than Shabbos. Right, because you're doich a Shabbos and the Mila. That's what the Medrash says. It's like a marshal from Mount Natrunia. That who, whoever pushes away the other one, whoever goes first, whoever has the Din Kedim, has a raya that they're, they're more choshuv. So, Zok Tereva, what's up Shat in the Medrash? The Pshat is again. Mit Shabbos has Zocher, has Shomer, has Mitz Saseh, has Mitz Sloit Saseh. So there's, there's a mile in the mitzvah to say. That's what you could do. But the, the God, and, and bring that gilu into the world. But it's vavke. The mitzvah, loy komalach latatsa, is a mile. It's yutke. But it's not something that you could do. So each one has a mile. Mila has both miles put together. Therefore, Mila is bigger than Shabbos. And that's why we find that these two things, Milan Pesach, 
they're, they're, they, these two mitzvahs come to Kalal Yisrael before Matan Torah. You know the Rambam, there's a famous Rambam. The Rabbi says that, um, that uh, all the mitzvahs we do is because the Ebesha told us at Har Sinai. There's no such thing, mitzvahs that we do because the Ebesha spoke to Noyach, the Ebesha spoke to Adam Elishin, the Ebesha spoke to Avram Avinu. All the mitzvahs is because of Belopoil, Pesach. When did the Eden get the mitzvah of Pesach and Milo? When the time. The Ebesha said the Eden are lacking mitzvahs. That Vever Laich Berech Mizbeses Ben Amoyach. That the Ebesha said that I need to give the Eden two Zachusim. Then those chusim like Bar Mitzrayim. The Ebesha said, I'll give you two mitzvahs. One goes before the other. Dam Milo, and then Dam Pesach. And the chusim, these two, you're going to have the Gula. So these two things they got before they went out of Mitzrayim, before Matan Torah. So by Matan Torah is when the, it started this this thing, this rule. There's Mitzvah Sey, Mitzvah Sey, there's Yud Kei, there's Vav Kei, this is higher, this is lower, this has a Maila, and that one has a Maila. But before, these are the rules that started by Matan Torah. But these two Mitzvahs, these two Mitzvahs started before Matan Torah. So therefore they were like, you know, they were exempt of the regular rules. And therefore, these two mitzvahs have this special thing that they have both milas together. In the one hand, the punishment is like a loitase, chorus, which teaches you that this is gewaldic, it's yutke. On the other hand, there's something a yit could do. I could do it. I, a person could take a son and take a, a knife and cut, which is a si, or send a shliach, a moil to do it for Same thing, korban pesach, he advise a, a, a shepsala. A Gidi or a Kevis and does the mitzvah and has Bay the Milas. He does it in Mamshach, the Kedusha of Yudke. And uh, this, this week we have both Milas, right? This Shabbos. We're reading these two Pashas. We're reading the Pasha of it's Ashgoch and Protas this week. Not always Shmini. Shmini a lot of times ends up after Pesach. Typical year, Tzav is Shabbos Agodel. Shmini is already after Pesach. Like uh, we had uh, two years ago. Shmini, Shmini, Shmini. You read Pasha Shmini eight times. Um, this year, it ends up an unusual kvias that we're reading Pasha's Tazriya. We're reading Tazriya. I mean, Tazriya is the summer, usually. Tazriya is the Shah Shabbos Mavor Chemir. We're reading Pasha Tazriya, which is. And the same week, we're also taking out the Torah to read about the Chodesh Al Chem, about the Korban Pesach. And this is, it, it, it's an un, unusual kvius and take The two mitzvahs come together. These are the two special mitzvahs. Mitzvahs Mila and the mitzvah of Korban Pesach. And these are the two mitzvahs the Evish they give to the Eden right before they went out of Mitzrayim. And that's Chus, that was the Geula. Have you ever read any reason why there's they're, they're, they're bigger, they're more powerful, so they're, they come down in a bigger number. As Yutke, the bigger, they're more powerful. So, um, yeah, the think it is that the, these two mitzvahs have in it a, a, big, a, a, a big component of Mesidus Nefesh. That uh, this who said this word to the Mercedes Nefesh is the Kada Kemach. I mean, we're, high. we're teaching a child the Mercedes Nefesh. Same thing, really, is the Korban Pesach. The, the Korban Pesach was Mercedes Nefesh because this was Yerosim Shul Metzirim. This was by the Zor of the Metzirim. And Moshe Rabbeinu said, Ain't Toivis Metzirim Nizbach Leinayim Veloyis Kalunu. What he said to Pari, you think we're going to. We're gonna we're gonna slaughter sheep here in Egypt. They're not gonna stone us to death. We, we can't we can't do it here. The Egyptians won't like that. But he had Mercedes Nefesh because the Abisha said. And the same thing, uh, a bris. A bris is uh, is, a, is a very painful thing. It's Mercedes Nefesh. So Ramela, with these two mitzvahs, he became worthy of the geula. So they. Not 
Well, they were, they were, we understand why. Because uh, he didn't want to, he could only do a bris once. And he wanted to have, he wanted to have the mile of doing it as a tzivah from HaKadosh Baruch If he had done it before the Yavisha tells him, then he, he would never have the schus of doing it, he would never have the kedusha of a bris as a tzivah of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. I understand. The, the yid not doing it was poshut because the Nama says, Shevet Levi did do it. Only the Yidin, we were so, so, you know, so involved in the Koishi Ashibud that they were mevatel uh, the mitzvah. Good. So again, to summarize, so we have, we have the, the two, two special mitzvahs that are a yoytzim and a klal. They're special. Usually mitzvahs, loyta say mitzvah say each one has a maila. Each one has a maila. This is yutke and this is vavke. This is higher. You can't bring it down. There's nothing you could do to bring it down. But it's, wow, it's yutke. On the other hand, vavke, you could bring it down. And you bring it, and it's tangible. So it's a maila. It's, 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 it's more seen in the world. But it's a lower dag. Pesach mila, both mailas put, put together. The yutke and the vavke put together. That's why there's an asiyah. And the same time, there's kodesh. So again, Ashkocha protest that this year... The two, the two sifretoyer that we're taking out are mitzvah smila and mitzvah korban pesach. So the Ebrish is a halfen, then the schus of uh, every one of us, the serious nefesh that we have, the smaller ones, the bigger ones, that in this schus, that uh, just like the Eden went out of Mitzrayim, the schus of the Mitzrayim's nefesh, we should go out of our golas with the gula mitzvah shlem and the schus of our Mitzrayim's nefesh. Amen. Amen. Amen.